Welcome back to the For the Badge podcast. But first, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, get the notification bell on so we can uh, get plenty more videos coming at you. Speaking of uh, victory, Arsenal uh, host the Cherries, Bournemouth come to the Emirates. And, uh, you know, I was when I first started, this is obviously the first one I went to when I was looking at the predictions and I'm like, man, we're flying Bournemouth, you know, their cherries have been popped Ooh. a lot this season. Uh, you know, four nil. I think we're going to, I think we're just going to crush them. Absolute smash them. Um, especially if Partey's hundred percent, he's, and he comes back into the lineup. It's going to be, uh, yeah. Four nil as well. Four nil. I agree. Uh, are we all saying four nil? <laughs> They're gonna smack them, man. They will. They will. It might score I, I five. wonder if four is enough. I, I'll I mean, see truly. five then. I'll go five nil. They're gonna smack. Uh, yeah, I uh I mean if Bournemouth come out like they have recently, and if we come out like we have recently, because if you think about it, we had our blip. We had our, uh, you know, we lost to City in the Cup, stumbled against Everton, stumbled against, well, we're robbed versus Brentford, smashed at home. It was all doom and gloom. Uh, have a rickety kind of rough performance versus Villa, but still get the win. And then we come good, and then we're even better. Uh, and now here we are. Once again at home versus a team that's struggling uh, down at the bottom. They don't score at home or away from home, rather. Uh, I think when we did the predictions for the last game, uh, they've scored maybe three or four goals all season away from home, I recall. So I don't see us being worried at all. I think it's going to look a lot like uh, City versus Bournemouth did. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I say, it'll be the same lineup. Bar Partey should be in there if he's healthy. And there have been some rumors floating around the uh, the AFTV and the, the Arsenal uh, universe. Uh, there might be one uh, Gabby Jesus on the bench. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, ho- honestly, this is not the game. No, me, no, it's not. This is not this is not the game. They could put me up top and and we'd be just fine. But uh, maybe you give him the last fifteen to. Yeah, just get a, get I a actually run out. would play him at the end just so he can get a run out. Yeah, that's the only reason. The only reason, because it's because we don't we don't need him for this game. We don't need to risk and him. Or because they're bad. Maybe he'll be goal number five. Hey, I would love it. You know, uh, I got some ridiculous PTSD about players coming back from injury, uh, you know, about Russian people, you know, um, you know, not the country. I mean, I guess they're not great. They're, they're not great right now in the public eye, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, Emmy Smith Rowe was supposed to be back a month and a half ago. And had another setback, you know, and so we're just seeing them now. Uh, you know, so we don't want to rush Partey, we want to wrap him in, in, you know, wool. And we've made the the buys. We've got the um, the people in to where we don't have to worry about it, you know. Uh, and so, yeah, I would not uh, play him till the very end of the game. If he's even in there at all, you know. Agreed. 4-0, 5-0. Arsenal uh, going to have a nice stroll. Um, there might be a little bit of pressure on it just because City do have the 7.30 game. You know, City smash Newcastle. Uh, and then, you know, we will need to find our five-point lead again. And I think we'll be just fine. Uh, but having said that, you know, even though there are games – that you're supposed to win on paper. You still got to go out there. Mm-hmm. Still got to do a job. Still got to get the three points, uh, and um, and that's important because you know moving forward with this title race. Right now we're in a run of 
um, Bournemouth at home. We got then we have. Uh, I got, it's a relatively got, easy run. Then you got you play Palace again. Fulham. Mm -hmm. You got the Europa League. Fulham, Crystal yeah. Palace, Leeds, That's and it. Liverpool. Yeah. Fulham away uh, is going to be tough for sure. Palace, we should take care of at home. Leeds, we should take care of at home. I'm hoping we play the reserves versus Sporting because uh, I could care less about the Europa League, uh, you know. And I would love, I would love to see nine nine more points before we get to Liverpool, you know. Um, I, think, I think they get them all. So uh, this is the start of that that little run there, and uh, we got to take care of business. I definitely think we will. That's 12 it's 12, right? 12. Because it's four games. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip well, the full away. So. I mean, I'm good with them only getting nine, but yeah, <laughs> 12. Hey, even, if, even if we go to Fulham and draw and get, a, and, and get 10 points, uh, I would, that would, you know, that wouldn't be the end of the world, uh, you know. Um, but here's the rub as far as the title challenge goes for me. On April 26th, we must be ahead by four points. We must be ahead by four points. Must. It's 100%. And if we are, I back us to win the league. Well, the next Before game for the City Newcastle. You, know, you play Newcastle after you play City. Yeah. But they, they, they got a hard closeout. The closeout is woof. It's a rough. It's a rough road. It's definitely a rough road. We go to Anfield. We go to St James, and we go to Etihad. If if you win it, you earned it. <laughs> give me, give me five points from those games. I'll bite. I'll snap your hand off. As long as you get the the twelve here and not nine. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's my point. That's my point. If we, if we win the next four games. That, that's exactly my point. We have to be at least four up at City. I understand Newcastle's right after that, but ha must. It's I mean, you know, the bad part is I know Chelsea is before that. I just, I'm, I, I hate to be disrespectful, but I mean. You never know what Chelsea. you're going to get at that point. Yeah. What about Chelsea at the Emirates, man? I mean, it just, it just is what it is. I mean. When we yeah. look at that fixture list, Anfield's going to be tougher. St. James is going to be way tougher. Oh, it's yeah. going to be way tougher. Yo, Craven Cottage is going to be tougher than that game. <laughs> you never know what form Chelsea, Chelsea will get. Goal. I will tell you right now, I fully expect it to be a, uh, a Chelsea that you don't struggle against. But you never know. Yeah, Which yeah. means they're going to try to fight you in that game. We will <laughs> yeah. fight you. Uh, yeah, I get, it. I get it. It's it's a it's a rivalry <laughs> game for sure, and there's history in the rivalry. Uh, been some good ones down the years. Well, I know I've had a good time on this one. Thanks for listening. It's been the For the Badge podcast. Make sure you hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel. Get the notification bell on. We will be back before you know it with plenty more. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.